Good morning, guys. Say good morning, Sam. Good morning. What are we doing today, Sam? Finally gonna fix chipping. <laughs> All right, guys, so you guys asked for it, so I'm finally gonna do it. Um, I picked up some sandpaper and some paint today. I just gotta run inside and get some newspaper so we can block off the windows and the side fenders and the front grill and everything. And then I'm gonna, I'll clean this down first, of course. And then uh, we'll sand it down the best we can. It's not gonna be a Maserati paint job, but it'll look a lot better than it does. And uh, you know, appearance is everything nowadays. So this is paint from <laughs> from one of my jobs all over here. I don't know. We ha we have a bad habit of resting the paint rollers on here while we're trying to clean up everything, so the paint gets on that. So now that I'm gonna paint this and make it look kind of nice, uh, we're gonna have to stop doing that. So yeah. All right. Let me get uh, tape and um, newspaper, and then we'll get started. All right, guys. Sanded it down. As you guys can see, it got a lot more, I got a lot more paint off of it. Uh, I had a lot more paint chips, you know, as I was sanding it, it would kind of chip everything away or it would loosen it and I would kind of just pick it with my nail and, you know, peel it all away because you don't want to spray paint over loose paint. So I got most of the logo off here. It's pretty flush, so I'm not really too worried about it. Unfortunately, this guy that owned the van last, he spray painted it. So this, this part right here would look like this, but he... But he half butted it, if he could, if uh, that's okay to say. <laughs> he didn't like tape anything, he didn't wash it. He just literally pulled out a can of white spray paint and just started hitting the, it just, it looks horrible. And then you can see like the paint drippage here. There's not too much I can do. I tried to sand it, but it's not going anywhere. So I'm hoping once I do the whole um, hood, it'll at least look, you know, one sheet so you won't be able to really see the paint too much. We'll see. But uh, I'm gonna let this air dry for another minute or two, and then we're gonna start doing our first bait, uh, our first base of primer. All right, guys. So this is after three coats of primer, just the primer. So obviously, you can see where he painted it and stuff. He just, I don't know, he kind of just butchered it. If I had like an orbitable sander or something, and I could really sand it down really good, um, you know, it might have came out smoother, but. I mean, it still looks so much better than it did. So much better. And uh, I'm just gonna wait a little while and then we're gonna put on some Rust-Oleum White. This is a semi-gloss. I was actually hoping for the high gloss, but then again, you know, the van is aged, so the paint is kinda like, you know, it has like that aged paint look a little bit. So if I put the high gloss on, <laughs> I think the hood would only be, would be the only thing with a high gloss on it. You know, the rest of the van is kind of like a dull paint color, so. I figure I might do these next, these running boards. As you guys can see, they're all scratched up. They're even more scratched up on the other side from the previous owner because I myself can drive pretty well, and so can Sam. So apparently somebody previously uh, didn't know how far they were from the curb and scratched it. But I should be able to just sand that down pretty easily here, I'll show you. So you guys can see, caught it pretty good there, and then all along the back. But I figure I could probably find a, a paint color pretty close to that and then uh, sand that all down, clean it, and hit it and maybe make it look kind of decent. Who knows? Well, I'm gonna wait till this dries and then I'll get back with you guys once I put on the first coat of uh, paint. All right, guys, what do you think? Now, most people are gonna be pretty far away so they won't be, and they won't be staring at it either, obviously. But it looks so much better. This is three coats of primer and three coats of Rust-Oleum uh, high semi-gloss, actually semi-gloss paint. So this is where the guy, you know, he did his thing, and I tried sanding it, but I don't know what happened. It just, it just wouldn't wear down. But the good news is it's only on this front, like lip part. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm actually gonna order a bug guard from. WeatherTech, They're, they seem to be the only ones that sell the uh, rock guard for this year van. I don't know, it's really strange. So we're gonna get that. I'm gonna order it when I'm heading back down. That way it'll be there when I get there. And uh, it'll block all this. And you'll just see the nice clean top of the roof, uh, of the uh, hood, I mean. It looks really nice though. It looks way better. I should have did it a while ago, but you know, I'm kind of a procrastinator. I'm too busy enjoying my van life to be bothered with this. <laughs> but it does look really nice. It's super bright. Unfortunately, 
it doesn't really match the paint you know if you can see it this is obviously a lot duller this is way bright i wish the whole van was this bright that'd be awesome but uh I'm gonna lift the hood once this dries and then we'll pull all the paper out and take it off the windshield. And then we're gonna pack up and we're gonna get out of here. All right, officially on the road. We're gonna stop and get some Lee's Pizza uh, <laughs> before we hit the highway. And then we're gonna jump right on up to PA, guys. We're gonna go to East Stroudsburg, PA today. And uh, we're gonna hang out. And have, we're gonna probably stay for like two nights because I, I really like this campground. It is super peaceful and quiet, and uh, we're gonna see if they, they have a train ride. It's like a legit train. It goes around and like gives you a tour, and it goes through the mountains and stuff. It's a really nice ride. We're gonna see if, um, you know, with this whole COVID thing, if they're running it, because they did stop it for a while. So we'll see, but that'll be awesome. So we're gonna check that out. Let me grab food, we'll get on the way, and uh, I'll meet you guys over there at the KOA. Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> Yes, we're here. Ah, oh, look at this campground. Look at this. There's nothing. We're, we're like by ourselves almost. This is fantastic. I love this. A little flooded. I guess it rained. But our site is nice and dry. Look at that hood. That hood looks good. Hey, that rhymed. I'm just, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. I'm just going to stop now. Anyway, really nice here. This is probably one of my, f I've been to KOAs all over the country and this is probably one of my favorite. Um, the staff is always super friendly. The owners are really nice. And uh, I mean, you get a site like this where it's just dead and it's beautiful out. And we're just gonna hang out. I asked them about the train tours and they weren't too sure about it. So we're gonna get on Google and see if they're running them. And if anything, we'll go tomorrow because we're here for three days, uh, two nights, three days, so. We're gonna get everything pulled out and situated, and then we'll see what we're gonna do from there, guys. All right, so we're picking up some wood. And dropping uh, some. And <laughs> so there's this place right here, ah. and you can pick up, you're on camera, they want to, you know, they see what you do, but they, you know, whichever, we wanted this, this is nice, but that's overkill for us for two nights. If we were doing probably another two extra nights, that'd probably be perfect. But each bin, we're doing the $10 one, and you just drop the money right there and we're doing a kindling bag because where we're at there's not a lot of like little sticks and stuff so if you ever come to this koa put in like a dollar general or something no this place is called richard's tree farm so just put richard's tree farm and you see this for your camping trip and let's see <laughs> how we're packing it in right cody we'll see you guys when we get to the campground all right guys back at camp we got a nice pile of firewood like Sam showed you guys and a kindling bag. We got a whole bunch of 
fireboard to start the fire. I pulled the big jackery out. We're gonna charge that one up. Sam's just putting some food away that we got. A whole bunch of bags. <laughs> we keep these for um, if we don't want to use a big white garbage bag or for the, our jobs, um, for like the roller and stuff we use it for. So yeah, I gotta sweep out and mop and everything. But well, we're here tomorrow too, so I'm not gonna do it the first night we're here. We're gonna yeah. enjoy ourselves. <laughs> I pulled the bike off. Um, we're gonna pull out some kitchen stuff. You know, frying pans and uh, table and whatever else we need. I put I put our plant on the table. Yeah, we have a nice, a very nice centerpiece now on our table. Ooh, we got Cody tied up to this tree over here. Do you like running around, freedom? <laughs> I felt bad. We got here before, and I started taking stuff out, and then me and Sam were like, you know, let's go get some stuff first before we get all situated because we don't want to leave everything out here. So we had to put everything back in and we had to put Cody back in and Cody was like so devastated that he wasn't staying here. <laughs> right, Cody? Speed bumps. You like it here? <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna help Sam pull the rest of the stuff out and we're gonna get dinner started and I'll get back with you guys in a bit. All right, so I forgot to give you guys an update on this gen 10. Remember I told you I sent it back if you watched a couple videos back. Um, you'll know that I was, yeah, I was having some issues with the clips. I had two clips crack on me. I, they're made out of plastic and they shouldn't be. They should definitely be metal. Um, and I brought this to their attention. I said, why are you guys, you know, you're charging top dollar for this thing. This tent costs $165. You know, if you're going to charge a price like that, your product has to be built really well. You know what I mean? Put some metal clips on the end instead of plastic. Anyway. Especially um, for people that use it as much as us. Yeah. In the summertime, I'm going to be pulling this thing off and putting it back on pretty much every night and possibly during the day because it's going to be really hot out. So we'll be running the generator quite a bit, even more so than we do now. Um, so I sent it back and they, like Sam said, they said they'll refund me accordingly, uh, you know, according to how, you know, how I get it back and how it looks, if it looks like I beat it up or whatever. So I send it back in mint condition with the exception of those two clips being broken. Now, they're telling me uh, they've never had this happen before. I'm the only person out of, out of thousands or hundreds of thousands of these things that they've sold. I am the only person that's ever broken a clip. So apparently to Gen 10, I am a macho man <laughs> and uh, I can break clips like nobody else can. So, you know, we, we weren't, and, and they weren't gonna refund us. They're like, we're not gonna refund you. You, you passed the date, which was like, was it no, two weeks? No, they didn't say we passed the date. Oh, what did they say? They what was their say, excuse? Um. They won't refund me. They'll send me out another one with the more like extra clips. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, fine. Yeah, with extra clips because they probably know they they break. So, anyway, you know that that kind of really annoyed Sam. First of all, that's crappy customer service, and we didn't have this thing for very long at all before I started having issues with it. So, we got in touch with Amazon, no. which I didn't even I didn't even get in contact with Amazon. So I put a claim into. Like when we first returned it, when you're on Amazon, you click it saying that you want to return it and then Amazon gets notified. And Gen 10 told me that Amazon is aware of me sending it back, the piece breaking. So a couple of days after they sent me that, Amazon gave me a refund for it. Yeah, so I got a 100% refund on my Gen 10. So I got a free Gen 10, $165 Gen 10, completely for free. I'm and this not sure- is like a couple like, over a week ago and Gen 10 never contacted me saying anything so yeah so I'm, I don't know if if Amazon took the bullet for this one or if Gen 10 just said screw it or if Amazon said they sent it back in the time frame that they did and you're telling me the piece broke you know so unless they had our back with that yeah I really like Amazon I like going through Amazon yeah, their customer service is pretty them. good yeah yeah you, you can you have the choice you can either order it straight through gen 10.com I think it is or through Amazon um, either way, it gets sent out from a Gen 10 facility, but at least if you order it through Amazon, Amazon has your back. You're covered by the Amazon, you know, guarantee or whatever it is, protection. So, yeah. anyway, they sent me a new one. Well, actually, this is the same one I sent out. Um, so they sent this, but they sent me all new, um, you know, whatever they are, mounting brackets and stuff like that. So I'm good to go for now, and they sent me extras, so if any of them break, I have extras. You can also go on their website and buy, um extras if you need them but this thing has a three-year warranty on it so if any of them go i will be in contact with them again um and i don't know if they'll say anything about giving me my 165 dollars back 
But I mean, you know, come on, stand behind your product, especially if you're gonna, if this thing was 20 bucks, I, it wouldn't be a big deal. But the fact that it's $165 plus tax, and I had to buy the, I bought the bag for it to keep it in good condition. And that we told you guys about it, their product. Yeah. I don't want you guys to be like, oh wow, and then you get it, and the same thing happens to you, and you guys, you can contact us and say, wow, you just recommended a piece of crap. For yeah, I, I actually really like the Gen 10. I really like what it does. I like how it sits. Um, I just feel like the metal clips, like the plastic clips, like I said, should be metal. So if you do buy it, just try not to. Just go easy on it. Yeah. That's all it is. Um, you know, it's it's nice for somebody who can just set it up and forget it. Yeah. You know, and it just stays in the garage. But for somebody like me who pulls it out every day, because I need it every day because I live in this van life, uh, it's a little more tricky. Anyway, I just want to give you guys an update on that. I'm going to finish helping Sam pull everything out for dinner. So Sam's making me a little thing of, oh, whoops, hold on, let me clean you guys. It's steamy. So she's making me beans. We got hot dogs cooking. I'm making one for Cody. That's why he's so excited. I know. You're going to get a hot dog with your food. Okay, and then over there I got both, uh, well I got two Jackeries, I got the 160 and the 1000, they're both charging up. And I have the Jackery 240, uh, which is running our fridge right now. It's actually been running our fridge since around 7 o'clock this morning. If you guys are looking for a Jackery, um, maybe just to run a fridge for like a day or two, you know. You can get the Jackery 240 and charge it up as you're driving and stuff, but this little Jackery 240 has been running this fridge which cycles on and off all throughout the day as needed um, at about 45 watts. It's been running since 7 a.m. and it's at seven. It's at 50% right now. And it is currently, hold on, I'll tell you what time. It is currently almost six o'clock. So you'd probably get almost 24 hours of run time. I, I say by halfway during the night, I'll die. Yeah. So, so figure you'd probably get about 18 to 20 hours of runtime on that fridge. So if you guys are interested in the Jackery and you can't quite afford the 1000, which is, you know, it's very expensive. Um, you know, definitely check out the, the 240 or the 300 is a little newer and it has a little bit more power. Obviously it's a 300 watt hour battery. So definitely take a look into those. I mean, I don't know what we would do without, without those Jackeries. Yeah, but being, living in a van and having Jackery really makes living in a van easier. Not a sponsored video. I'm just telling you guys, like, you know, we did the van life before. I know they're expensive, but I'm telling you guys they're 100% worth it. Yeah, we did the van life before with a cooler and ice and it sucks. First of all, your, all your food gets ruined almost all the damn time. It gets waterlogged. And then- We just ate out every day because we got sick of the cooler. Yeah. And then every day you're spending money on ice, two, three dollars on ice. So it adds up really quickly. So I mean, you know, in a month or, or like two months, you could have just bought a Jackery 240. Yeah, they're on sale right now, I think, uh, $199. And the Jackery 300 is on sale as of right now too for uh, 2 69 I think it's originally 300 bucks so definitely something to take a look into all right guys just had some yummy dinner we are just about starting to get the fire to go up mosquitoes are coming out hot and heavy tonight so trying to get the fire up make it a little smoky try to get to keep the bugs away because they are big and I guess they are starving <laughs> so because they are coming after me for sure I don't know about Cody. Cody, the mosquitoes coming after you. You know. Okay, you want some front row attention? Oh, right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. You like it here? All right. So we're just gonna hang for the night, guys. And uh, I still gotta look into that train ride. I didn't get a chance, but I'll let you guys know in the next vlog tomorrow how that went. See if we can get some tickets to go. But I hope you guys are all having a good night. Me and Sam are going to pack all of our stuff away, and then we still got to make the bed because we did laundry today. We did all the linens. So we're going to get all that situated and then hop in bed and watch some TV. And then uh, we'll see you guys in the next vlog.